Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Hot Tub Time Machine 2. You're a fucking nerd. nerd. You're a fucking nerd. And nerd. no one likes you. Point no next one up. likes you. Not gonna lie, I didn't watch the first Hot Tub Time Machine because I thought it looked pretty stupid. Everybody else seemed to love it though. It did well enough at the box office and it had a cult following that warranted a sequel. Well, my intuitions on the first movie carried through to the second and they were correct because I thought this was a pretty stupid movie. But let's go ahead and talk about what it gets right, shall we? By far, the biggest positive of the film was Adam Scott and his character. He was a breath of fresh air amongst this comedy team. He just felt so different, so unique, so authentic, and hilarious throughout the film. I just really liked his character, and it was refreshing to see him in this kind of role amongst a crowd of people who could not be more different than he was. I also thought Craig Robinson had his moments. All of the main cast had their moments, but definitely no other standout performances at all. And there are a couple chuckles, a couple laughs. Nothing great, but at least you do laugh. And at least you only have to sit through an hour and a half of the film, and that's pretty reasonable for motion picture standards. That is where the positivity stops, because everything else about this film I thought was pretty terrible. The humor was just so juvenile. We were resorting to penis jokes and bodily function gags. It's all just so tired, so played out, and so nasty. There's just so much nasty imagery. It's all very vulgar, and really, a lot of the times you're just sitting there more uncomfortable then you are entertained. The characters also are not very likable. They do have some sort of redeeming quality near the end, but really it's just like a despicable group of people running around. Other than Adam Scott's character and the son, I thought he was okay. But, ugh, gosh, it was just an insulting film to my intelligence. I thought it was so stupid, so ridiculous. The plot line was, ugh. And it just doesn't get the theory of time travel right almost at all. Like, part of the gag is that you go back in time and you make songs before other people make hit songs. The song itself isn't the only factor that made it popular. And what makes you think just because you do it, it's still going to be the phenomenon it was. And then creating Google is like... How did you come up with the idea for Google and how are you able to implement it just because you have the idea? So there's just, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm like, what? No. That's not really how it would work. You can't just go back and do the exact same thing other people did and expect the exact same result. But all of that's beside the point. I'm sitting here trying to figure out logic in a movie that is so far below trying to get logic right that they're stuck on rudimentary jokes. So, overall, I definitely cannot recommend Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Maybe if you were a fan of the first one, this might replicate the humor. I don't know. I didn't watch the first one. And I wish I hadn't seen the second one either, because it was exactly what I expected it to be. So I'm sure we'll have much better comedies to come. Skip this one. So, that has been my review of Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Hot Tub Time Machine 2? And if you could travel back in time, where would you go? I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!